Hi, I'm Dan Music, and in this video I'll show you how the clutch works in more detail. I'll show you how to take it apart, and I'll also show you how to change the clutch disc, which is one of the more common problems with uh, operators, commercial operators. Sometimes the door will run for an hour or two, something's blocked it, something has stopped it, the spring may have broken. The opener runs and runs and runs and wears out the clutch disc. So we'll show you how to do that. So to start, you make sure the power is disconnected. <clears throat> and the uh, clutch shaft has a castle nut. We pull out the Powder pin from the castle nut. Pull out the cutter pin. So pull the cutter pin out. After you pull the cutter pin out, or before you pull the cutter pin out. Before you work on this, let's say the first thing you do is remove the V-belt. So the first thing you do is remove the V-belt. Now this pulley will usually only turn one way, so you want to make sure you have your screwdriver in there so that you're allowing it to turn in a way that the belt will be easy to remove. So we have the V-belt off. And we've removed the castle, the uh, cutter pin already. So uh, so then you just unscrew this. Usually after you go a few times, it'll come right out. Normally you have your castle nut, big washer, your tension spring, another washer, then you have your pulley. Notice that when we take the pressure off, the pulley spins freely because the pulley isn't connected to the shaft. So we can pull the pulley off. Now behind the pulley is a pressure uh, is a clutch and also a pressure plate. And then the pins hold the pressure plate in place. So you have, this is your clutch shaft. You have the pressure plate. Now, if, if the clutch is burned out, sometimes these things get burned to a crisp. You put the new clutch disc in, that goes on there. Sometimes these will just get slippery from running a little bit too long. And uh, you can put it on a concrete floor and use the concrete floor to scratch up the uh, plate. The, uh, you can use the concrete floor to scratch up the clutch disc. So we have the pressure plate, the clutch disc, the pulley, which is going to ride against the clutch disc. We have the first washer, the clutch spring, second washer, and then the castle nut. Notice that with just a little bit of pressure, the pulley turns now. But without the pressure from the castle nut and the spring and the washers, pressing the pulley against the pressure plate and disc on the other side, the uh, big pulley would just spin freely. So we usually 
go in here and uh, I'll turn it a couple of times. And what I'm looking for now is the alignment of the hole for the cutter pin. See that hole? Okay. So we get the hole lined up and put the cutter pin back in. There we go. Came to it. <coughs> this keeps the cutter pin from slipping out. Now, put the V-belt back on. All right, we get this back together. We put the V-belt on. Depending on how the, whether the door is open or closed, usually it's going to be down. So then you, you put the belt back on. <coughs> 